understanding loci. A locus is the set of points that satisfy a condition. The plural of locus is loci. So these are the loci that you should be able to recognize. You may be asked to give a locus from a given point. You may also be asked to give the locus of points from a line, the locus from two points, or the locus from two lines. You'll also need to recognize this word, equidistant. So equidistant means an equal distance from. So bearing that in mind, if we were asked for the locus of points equidistant from a given point, we would be looking for all of the points that are a fixed distance away from this. So for example, if I wanted all of the points that were one centimeter from this given point, I could have this point over here, I could have this point over here, I could have a point up here and over here that are all one centimeter away. The locus of all of these points would be this circle because this circle would contain all of the points that are exactly one centimeter away from this point that I've been given. If I'm looking for the locus of points that are equidistant from a given line, so an equal distance from this line here, let's use the same distance, let's say that this is one centimeter away, so all of these points along here are one centimeter away from the line, and that's the same with any of these points below the line. Now at the end of the lines is where things get tricky, at the end of the line these points will all be a centimeter away from the end of the line. So that's why you end up with these semicircles at each end. If I'm asked for the locus of points that are equidistant from two given points, that means that any point that I draw has to be an equal distance from here as it is from here. So if I look at these points as being equidistant from these given points, I can see that they all form a straight line. And if I were to connect my two points, I would see that this line would meet the locus at a right angle. So if I actually wanted to draw this, what I would need is a perpendicular bisector of this line here. Lastly, if I'm looking for the locus of points equidistant from two given lines, so I've got my two given lines here, and I'm interested in each point being an equal distance from either line. So this collection of points makes this straight line here, and that cuts the angle between my two given lines in half. So if I wanted to construct this line, I'd be constructing an angle bisector. If I'm constructing any of these loci, I will need to use a sharp pencil, a ruler, and a pair of compasses. So here, I want to draw the locus of points that are exactly five centimeters from A. To do this, I will need to construct a circle with a radius of five centimeters. So to do this construction, first I open my compasses to five centimeters and put the point of my compass on the point A and then rotate my pencil around the point like this. And it's really important here that you do not touch the pencil at any point because you don't want to alter the distance between it and the center of the circle. So now this circle that we've drawn is the locus of all of the points that are exactly five centimeters from A. So now we'll construct the locus of points that are exactly four centimeters from the line segment AB. So again, we're gonna start by opening the compasses to four centimeters. And we're going to need a circle on each end. So remember, this locus looks like a semicircle on either end of the line, and then a straight line joining those two. So we can just draw the semicircle, but to know where the top of the circle is, it's best to just draw the whole circle. So I've got a circle of radius four centimeters from B and one from A as well. So now, I can join the top of the circle on the left to the top of the circle on the right, like this. And then I'll do the same for the bottom of each circle. 
So now this line around the outside represents the locus of points that are exactly 4 centimetres from this line segment AB.